Ugh, such a beautiful day here in Kempton, Pennsylvania. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Ugh. Do I have any of these switches lined up? It's, it's okay, that's good. Okay, just that one. Okay, good. Now let's face the day. Okay, it's right about there. Boop, come on. Oh, good. Got that worked out. Alright. Boop, come on. See you better. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I can see better. So yeah, pretty easy day today, which is uh just taking these passengers between Kempton, where we're at now, and Windermaker, about uh, maybe two to three miles north of here. Here's our speed for the day. A 1930 vintage 060 saddle tank engine built by HK Porter, originally to switch cars for the Water Power Company at Safe Harbor, Pennsylvania. 65 has been calling this place home since 1972. I can see very hands-on with uh, using interface and all that. Like, uh, look at these tricocks here. There right, we go. Right, just rolling gently into the station track. We just uh, nudge up with the caboose here. Normally I have to be outside the cab to see how good a job I'm doing, so let's see if I can do this in here. Okay, a bit more than that. Come on. So this is basically my view of uh, coupling out from inside the cab. Okay, I'm calling that good. Let's uh, stretch him out. Oh, nope, not that way. Come on. All right, that's good. Okay, so that's uh, slowly getting up there, but uh, we're gonna need a lot more steam to uh, get over uh, the hills that are on this line, so let's throw some coal on. Come on, come on. Just... There we go. All right, let's get that. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I think I'm actually got in here. Okay, cold 108, that should be fine. Alright, then this lever over here is the injector. This is, uh, pretty sure it's the lifting type, so we gotta prime it a bit first to get it started. Then you gotta feel it when it starts vibrating, and then. And that's we're getting water in the boiler. Sun class. Very nice. The sounds in this are beautiful, by the way. Love the attention to detail. So I might be looking at these uh, open windows or thinking, do they actually open like that in the uh, in the outside views? Not technically, but you can fix this by going. Control right click, and then see rear engineer's window. So by using these sliders here, we can roll this window down and open this door. Not forgetting anything. Oh yeah, headlight. No. No.
There we go. Ooh. Ah ha ha! All right, so by turning the blower on, we're introducing more air into the firebox down here. So the air will help the uh, the fire burn brighter, and that should hopefully get more uh, water and steam boiled up, so we can get up to at least close to operating pressure here. Is this beetle actually moving? Yes, good. Yep, she's wide awake now. We're ready. Hey, we're out. like this while we run uh, Punker first all the way to Watermaker. Okay, that's just a signal up ahead. Approach medium! Approach medium. Somebody pulled a short whistle blast. So for a bit of historic context here, this route was built in the 1870s, originally as the Berks County Railroad, and later became the Schuylkill and Lehigh branch line of the Redding Company, connecting the city of Redding with Slatedale. It carried mostly agricultural products, as evident by all the farms that lined this track, and like most branch lines, rail traffic started drying up once road travel became more favorable. With the Redding Company filed to abandon this line, a group of volunteers purchased about three miles worth of track in 1963 and has been running these tourist excursion trains ever since. If you visited the railroad before, why not leave a comment down below and tell us what your visit was like. If you really can tell how uh, kind of gradient run. Actually, it might be a way. Hang on. Go. Okay, just get down maybe... Oh, that's low enough. Ooh, all right. Whew, gotta love simulators. Sorry. That looks like it's going downhill. So, oh, oh dear. All right, now that we're going downhill, I'm gonna take advantage of this little, uh, this little flight deviation here. All right, easy there. All right, that should get us some steam back up for the uh, next big incline we face, as long as we're following along this river. Okay, they were going uphill now. Come on! All right. Mm, now nah, we should be good for water. Oh, wow, lively little thing just, to, just taking to it. All right, what's this? Berman's Grove. All right. So that's probably the two-thirds mark on the line. Okay, they can just drift easy the rest of the way in. And, uh... Oh, break crossing. That. I wonder if I can actually get like here and see. Alright. 
Well, that's a fine howdy do. Can we get this? The there we go. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more power here. And here we are. The very last bit of uphill before one of my curve. The switch up here is just for the uh, run around setting, which we'll make good use of. So let's get. Ooh, oh. All right. Um. How'd I do? That's clear the crossing, isn't it? Oh. Gotta find that much. All right. Okay, let's get about half a car length. This should be all right. All right, that should be good. Whew. All right, that wasn't so bad. So uh, let's get our uh, engine uncoupled. There we go. Simple as that. And we're away. I love what I do. Get myself unembedded from the window frame. Okay, we're just wanting to go back, so... Let's take this very gently. Easy does it. Want to get this gentle? Yeah, if you're wondering why the uh, texturing is like that, don't worry. It's just a uh, a PBR thing. These weren't the original textures that were to go with this rather originally, because uh, you know different versions between TRS-19 and all that trains with a new era. Oh boy. Okay, so we got about that much to go. Don't worry about the knuckles, they're fine. That's just how the game works. Alright, we're coupled. Alright, I'm calling that a good couple. Get a good chance to uh, get our breath back before we start the uh, return trip, given how uh, hilly it was. This isn't a very difficult route as far as uh, driving uh, driving in cap mode goes, but uh, this is one of those things where you really got to pay attention to what you're doing. And you know what? I like Rust. I get that little incentive for, for, uh, for being on your toes. It really adds a lot to uh, the play value of this route. Interactivity and attention to detail can't be beat either. Hey, right. I think we're good. Hey, right. away we go.
Hi guys. <laughs> Come on. Uh, now sometimes it does get confusing as to uh, which lever you're which lever you're trying to pull on here. Pretty sure that's how the, how the game's set up though. Okay, I don't think we should be going this slow, leaving from the Wanamaker. That's fine. That's fine. All right, 65. We've only got about that much of a gradient to go, so we can at least make that. We'll be in good shape. Me or oh dear. Huh, didn't think this would happen, but here we are. Um right. What's the uh oh, the sanding? I think we're at the point where the safeties are uh, should be popping off. We shouldn't have an excuse to uh, to uh, stall out here. Yeah, the safeties are popping, so we have full operating pressure. Come on. No. All right. All right. <sighs> so with the pier, what we need to do is to uh, humor her a little bit. Oops. All right, so we got sand on, and we need to back up just a fair amount of distance to make this work. Not by that much. Like, I genuinely hadn't planned on the, on doing this, but uh, because of our commitment to uh, make this work in this particular style, this is what it, this is what it's going to take. All right, I think this should be good. All right, doing this up like a photo run by here. Here we go. Keep it up, girl. All right. It's cruising through here at 15 miles an hour. Come on, not the hell.
Oh, yeah, she's making mincemeat out of this hill now. And... We are over the top! Woohoo! All right, Angor's back to Kempton. <sighs> you know, between you and me, I really could get used to this. I can only imagine what it'd be like in real life. There we go, now we're on the home straight. Okay, could do it a bit more slowing down. Okay, not that much. All right, I uh, whew, call that a successful round trip. So that is how the Wanamaker, Kempton, and Southern Railroad looks from the cab view in Trains Railroad Simulator 2019. Pretty typically speaking, this sort of out and back round trip is all there is to do on this line, which would sound incredibly boring for DCC users. If, however, you did this in cab mode, like I did, it's the only way to truly understand what this ride is made of. I can only imagine what it was like to operate the real 65. Speaking of which... This is the real WKNS 65, which used to operate in regular service until 2010. Since the expiration of our boiler ticket that year, this idle tank has been awaiting funds to go through its 1472-day inspection to operate again. This tourist line is not in the big leagues like Strasbourg or the Reading and Northern, so this line needs all the support they can get, especially now with COVID-19 having everything on hold for the foreseeable future. You can learn more about the WKNS and how you can support them in the link below. If you've never heard of the WKNS before watching this video, I hope this has been a good introduction. Approach Medium's interpretation is beautifully detailed, has enough engineering challenges to keep you on your toes, and is a perfect homage to its real-life counterpart. The route is available through Approach Medium's website, linked below, while the 65 and the assorted passenger cars are sold separately through K&L Trains. If you got trains, by all means, go for it. <laughs>